Hello everybody. So this is Garden Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. An update on my flock of chickens here. Um, this is uh, the 18th of April. And I have my young girls there. They're almost eight weeks old. And these are the older ones that I've had for over a year now. And uh, we're seeing how it goes. Um, I just introduced them about half an hour ago. Um, made sure that uh, everybody has scratch greens and um, sunflower seeds and things to peck and scratch on the ground to kind of keep them busy. So there wasn't any fighting or anything right away. And the little girls don't quite know what to think of the bigger ones yet because they're about twice their size still. These are uh, the older ones here about two years old. But so far the only show off that we have, only showdown I should say, um, was the rooster um, sizing up these girls and letting them know that he is boss which is kind of hilarious if you see the size of my rooster. He's even younger than um, the girls in here. I don't see him right now, but um, he is even smaller. There he is right there. Uh, let's see if you can see him there. That little guy right there, that's the rooster. And he's smaller than these girls because he's two weeks younger. And yet he wasn't, wasn't afraid to size up these girls over here and say, hey, I'm the boss here. But so far as you can see, there's no fighting. The big girls are just enjoying their own little flock. The little girls are enjoying their own little flock. And seeing the new item I put in here, which is the do-it-yourself feeding tube. I haven't filled it up yet, I just put it in here. Along with the other water container. So, we'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. My Miss Goldie Flock. She's my blonde one right there. That's Goldie Flock. She thought she was all that and the big bad bully of this flock here. But as the as the black ones are setting dominance over the younger ones, Miss Goldie Flock and her other bullying sister are figuring out they're not so bad after all. So we've had a couple of shows of dominance, some not so nice pecs, but they don't last that long, just enough to say, hey, I'm the boss here, back off. And so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, Miss Goldie Flox doesn't know what to think because she's used to being the boss and being the bully of everybody and now she's not. So definitely some change in dominance going on. We'll keep you updated. So this is day two of putting the two flocks of chickens together. My two-year-old um, black Australorps and then my eight-week-old golden laced wine dots. And as you can see, they're still separated. They don't intermeld too much. They stay to themselves. Uh, last night when I checked on them as far as being in the coop, they were like that. The back Australorps were on one side of the coop and the wine dots were on the other. We did have one hen of each breed that was actually sitting together in the doorway of the coop. So that was kind of interesting. I will show you though that the black Australorps think that they are boss and they can do whatever they want. My coop here, see all this mess here? Um, when I had these girls right here, hi girls, they're all napping in the shade. When I had them in here, they didn't make a mess like this. And as you can tell, you can see my coop is a mess now. They completely just kicked and scratched and threw everything out. Um, don't know why, maybe because they hate straw, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so which was my nice coop is now just uh, everywhere. But anyways, that's the update today. We've only had one hen who managed to get out of the coop. We're thinking she might have been targeted by the 
older group there. Uh, so we're still watching and still seeing if they uh, will behave themselves together. Hopefully so, because it's very hard to maintain two separate coops on two different ends of the property. So this is the update. This is Garden Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Bye-bye. Hello everybody. This is Garden Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Hopefully you can hear me today. It's kind of breezy. Um, this is day, I think, five uh, since we introduced uh, the larger hen, hens, sorry, our black Osterlorps to the younger flock that we've had in here, which are the golden lace wine dots. And at first we we're doing all right, but uh, the black ones are trying to be territorial and um, trying to be bossy. And there's really not a lot of fighting going on where we have to worry about injuries. Uh, the problem is that um, the black ones chase off the other ones. So there's no fighting. It's uh, more of just chasing them away. So what we've done, because the uh, golden lace haven't been able to come out of the coop because they feel just intimidated by the bigger girls, as we separated them, uh, we used just um, orange snow fence here, which is working so far. And we just put up a barrier between the black ones there and the gold ones. And we're just going to keep this up during the day. That way, um, the the gold ones can come out and enjoy the the you know the yard as much as the black ones, and not be intimidated by the black ones chasing them off. So um, I put in, uh, brought the milk crates from inside the coop out here. So um, if they want, they can nest in that for now or just lay eggs on the ground. At this point, I, I really don't care. I'm just trying to get um, the chickens used to each other and um, let the little ones grow to be a little bit bigger so they have more of a chance of standing up to the black ones. So again, not a lot of fighting going on. That wasn't the problem. The problem was just chasing off and not letting the other ones out. And uh, uh, the one thing we noticed today is I brought home some special treats, um, some scratch grains mixed with some mealworms and some fruits and things that I threw on the ground. And the black ones went after it immediately. And as the younger ones were trying to get some, they would get chased off. So that's why we put up this barrier, so the younger ones have a chance to get out here, uh, scratch around and see what treats they can find without being chased off by the black ones. So we'll keep you updated and uh, we'll see how this journey goes. It's a, a learning lesson for us and for those who follow us, hopefully you can learn some things from us as well. So this is the newest update on raising backyard chickens for the first time. This is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Bye-bye now.